Hey there, Raghavendra. My name's Andrew, and I'm the essay corrector here at IELTSpodcast.com. Thanks for submitting this trial correction on international marketing. Uh, so what normally happens with these is I read through sentence by sentence, and I'll comment on how well you responded to the task, how well you structured the essay. I'll talk about the, the language that you used and whether it was formal and precise enough, and I'll correct some grammar along the way. But my, my main comments with your work is essentially that you've tried to overcomplicate it. You've used far too much background information. Um, and you've, you seem to have strived to use as many idioms as possible. Um, and this is not really the goal in academic writing. In academic writing, we're trying to construct accurate and precise sentences uh, to relay ideas in a digestible manner. So the reader is supposed to be able to make sense of your reasoning by following um, a simple structure where we get the point across as easily as possible. The, the fact that this is a discuss both views and give your opinion question means that our introduction should have featured only three things. That's a clear outline of the question, so a quick discussion of both sides in one sentence, your opinion on the matter, and a brief outline of the ideas that you will discuss further in the body of the essay. So something along the lines of, um, some people believe that international marketing is culturally invasive and can, can be considered intrusive, while others are of the opinion that it is an essential and economical form of education, disseminating culture, languages, and ideas. Personally, I advocate international marketing. So along those lines, um, we're trying to be as, um, as precise as possible. So including all of these idioms and this imagery, um, it only clouds the matter. It makes it difficult to read, but also when you strive to use this many idioms at once, inaccuracies and inappropriacies will be common. These are the sorts of things that we should exercise caution around because only native speakers really truly understand the range of contexts that an idiom is appropriate in. And language students often struggle to use idioms appropriately. It's a, quite an advanced uh, skill that people only really acquire from long-term exposure to the, to the language. So living in the country, essentially. But even then, um, that person would still make a higher number of mistakes than um, a native speaker. And so if you strive to use as many idioms as possible, what happens is you just ramp up the number of um, errors that you make. So stick to simple yet accurate and precise language. My next point is that this question asked about how it could be considered invasive and intrusive and how it could be considered to be um, good as a form of education. So what I would expect is to have your introduction, introduce the idea, give your opinion and outline the ideas that you'll use. Then I would expect the first paragraph to be about how, um, how it can be considered invasive and intrusive. What effects does it have that could be perceived as invasive and intrusive? Um, things such as cultural erosion, whereby an international brand establishes themselves um, in a small market with a much larger um, advertising and marketing budget than everybody else. And so it becomes incredibly difficult for the small domestic competitors uh, to compete at all, and they end up going out of business. So what the overall effect is, effectively, um, the arrival of the international brand with their marketing strategy closes native businesses. And this could be called cultural erosion. Uh, so this is a way that it can be considered invasive and intrusive. 
next, I would have expected you to then talk about how, how it can be considered good for the spread of language, culture, and ideas. How um, companies advertising across borders necessarily um, introduce foreign culture to places. They introduce the contact that people have with foreign cultures. And so it does increase cultural tolerance, cultural understanding, and thereby, um, I suppose, advancing the general global goal of unity, of togetherness, of globalization. So what you've done is try to explain international marketing and back it up. And then again, you've done the same here. Yeah, so what you've essentially done is written an analysis of international marketing. Um, and your what I was going to say is your language ability is very good. But the question, um, I think, is the, que the question and answers in these task twos are far simpler than you think they are. Um, really, in a in a body paragraph, you only need four sentences. You, you're discussing one idea in a paragraph, and you use the first sentence to introduce the idea, so that's your topic sentence. You then explain the idea fully, so you expand with the next sentence. And then you use a third sentence to support your idea with an example from the real world. This adds credibility to your idea and shows that your thinking is based on evidence and it's not just opinion. Then you can use a fourth sentence if you need to, just to explain how it all relates back to the question that you were asked. What does this show? So that's a good structure to have in a paragraph just to show clear reasoning. Introduce the idea, expand it, support it, and explain it. Um, so yeah, you're cut down on the idioms, but your biggest issue would be task response in this because you have written an, an analysis of international marketing as opposed to discussing the views and giving your opinion. Uh, but if you would like to continue to work like this and receive corrections in this manner, um, in the future I would do more uh, grammatical corrections on your work, but today I think your biggest gains could be made um, simply by simplifying your work um, and sticking to a, a structure that responds more appropriately to the question. Uh, but yeah, if you would like to continue receiving these sorts of corrections, you can subscribe to our course, the link to which is on this very page you're staring at right now. The course comes with eight essay corrections in total, over which I would hope to get you to above a band eight, uh, sorry, a band seven in IELTS writing, but we do aim for band eight. So I do hope to be seeing some more of your work coming through soon, but until then, have a great day and goodbye for now.